Welcome to MathMaster.org. We're now going to have a look at writing a fraction in its simplest form, or another way of saying this is cancelling down fractions, or even another way that you might have heard of doing the same thing is called writing a fraction in its lowest terms. So there's lots of ways of, of describing this process, but I'm going to call it writing a fraction in its simplest form for the for this video, okay? So before you watch this video, please make sure that you're okay with the idea of what equivalent fractions are and that you can find equivalent fractions, okay? I've done a video about that, so if you don't know what equivalent fractions are, please make sure that you watch that first. Let's have a look. What is a fraction's simplest form? Okay, here's a fraction, three sixths. Now, we can find lots of equivalent fractions to that, to that one, here they are. I've put up some equivalent fractions which are all equivalent to 3 sixths. So all those fractions up there are just describing the same proportion or if you like a division sum with the same answer. If you did numerator divided by denominator on all those fractions you get 0 0.5. So they're all equivalent. They're all the same size even though they look different. Okay, only one of those fractions is the fraction in its simplest form. Can you think which one that could be? It's this one, one half. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Here I've put up some more fractions now that are all equivalent to six eighths. So 60 eightieths or 12 sixteenths, all these fractions are equivalent to six eighths but only one of them again is its fraction in its simplest form. Can you think which that one would be? It's this one, three quarters. Writing a fraction in its simplest form means that you have to write the fraction using the smallest numbers possible. Okay, so writing the fraction there, you'll see that the smallest numbers possible that we could write that fraction in would be three quarters. And remember that you have to use whole numbers, you can't have decimal numbers in fractions. So, to write a fraction in its simplest form, you just have to use um, write it using the smallest whole numbers possible. Okay, so what is a fraction in its simplest form? Writing it using the smallest whole numbers possible. Let's have a look now at how to write a fraction in its simplest form. How do we actually go about writing a fraction in its simplest form? Now we know what it is, how do we go about actually finding a fraction simplest form? Let's have a look at a couple of examples. So here's a fraction, 8 twentieths. Right, the question you ask yourself when you're doing this is, can I think of a number which I can divide into 8 and 20. So if you look at the numerator and the denominator and you ask yourself, can I find a number that would divide a whole number of times or goes into 8 and 20? Or another way of thinking it of it would be to say, can I think of a number that's a factor of both 8 and 20? Well I can, 2. 2 goes into 8 and 2 goes into 20. So I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. To find an equivalent fraction to that, which would be 4 tenths. 8 divided by 2 is 4, 20 divided by 2 is 10. Right. Then you ask yourself, can I now think of a number which divides into 4 and divides into 10? A whole number of times. Well, I can. 2 goes in again, doesn't it? 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we divide numerator and denominator by 2 again to get 2 fifths. And then you repeat the process again. You say, can I think of a number which divides into 2 and divides into 5? Or can I think of a number that's a factor of 2 and a factor of 5? No, I can't. And so because I've got to the end of that, 
you now know that two fifths is the simplest form of eight twentieths. Okay, so eight twentieths in its simplest form is two fifths, and we knew we got there because we can't think of a number that divides into two and into five. Okay, let's have a look at one more example now. 30 30 sixths is our starting fraction. We're going to write this in its simplest form. And as before, can we think of a number that's a factor of both 30 and 36? Or can we think of a number that divides into 30 and 36? Well, threes go into those, don't they? So if we divide 30 by 3, we get 10. And if we divide 36 by 3, we get 12. So we've got 10 twelfths now. Are we at the end of this? Is that in its simplest form? No, it's not. Because I can think of a number that divides into 10 and it divides into 12 a whole number of times. That number would be 2, wouldn't it? So I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we get 5 sixths, which is still an equivalent fraction to those other two. OK, can we think of a number that divides into 5 and divides into 6? A number that's a factor of both? I can't. So that's it. That's the simplest form. 30, 36 in its simplest form is 5 sixths. That was writing a fraction in its simplest form or cancelling down or writing a fraction in its lowest terms. If you want to see some more fantastic maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.